Hey everyone, welcome to the latest edition of Nets Post Game Plus. Chris Shearn, Frank Isola with you without Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving Saturday. The Nets fall to the Sixers in Philadelphia, 124-108. However, that score is not indicative of where this game was in the third quarter. Tied at 79, but that's when it all fell apart for Brooklyn. Yeah, the last five minutes of that quarter, 23-7 to run by the Sixers. Danny Green knocked down a couple of corner three-pointers right in front of the Nets bench. Harden did not play the fourth quarter, and an issue the Nets will have if they end up meeting Philadelphia down in the playoffs will be trying to contain Joel Embiid, who's playing like an MVP, was outstanding tonight, as well as Ben Simmons. We, we have time for that, though, Frank. Joel Embiid did lead all scores with 33. James Harden was the high man for Brooklyn with 26 and some reserves took advantage of extra minutes including big man Norvell Pell who made his Nets debut and blocked three shots in 17 minutes. Steve Nash talked about Pell afterwards but first he was asked by our Michael Grady what caused things to get away from his team in the third quarter. It's a, a, a bit of everything you know they, it's a strong team. You know, we were a little undermanned. Um, you know, we, we, I thought our, our, our guys got a little tired from the load they were carrying. And, uh, you know, they were able to use their depth and talent to kind of find a little separation. But uh, I was proud of the way the guys competed and approached the game. On that point, what's, what is your big takeaway? You mentioned being proud of the way they played. What's the, what do you pull away from this game in totality, especially when you consider the last 24 hours? Yeah, yeah I thought that... Um, you know, we need to get a little more physical, and at times we showed we were. We we uh, we got in there and cracked people on rebounds, dove on the floor for loose balls. Some of the things that we're going to have to do here to get better. Uh, but I thought we also cleaned up a little bit of our defensive schemes at times, and um, you know, we grew a little bit. So you know, it was a tough loss. We were, we were a little undermanned, but uh, I thought there was a lot to be proud of from our guys. Alex Schiffer, the Athletic. Hey, Steve, I got two quick ones for you. Just early impressions of Norvell. He was able to get some run, and then it looked like DeAndre took a shot. I'm just wondering if he's all right. Uh, I, I think DJ's okay. I, I'm not positive. Um, and Norvell was great. I mean, he, he, he's out of shape a little bit but for NBA standards. You know, you could see him out there. I was proud of him for, for fighting through, trying to get his legs and his lungs going. Um, he obviously has some instincts blocking shots, which is, uh, which is I think, you know, the his reputation and why why we looked at him and uh you know i was proud of the way he he conducted himself and worked hard and uh, and, and like i said he showed that he can block some shots brooklyn will return action tuesday with the road game in detroit coverage starts on yes at 6 30 with the pregame show presented by fanduel sportsbook for frank isola i'm chris sheeran thanks for watching nets post game plus